Good morning. It is the middle of December 2021. We are staring down the barrel of 2022. I can't believe it. <laughs> I took a walk early this morning with a friend and uh, we hadn't, we really hadn't seen each other in almost two years. And even though we live just down the street from each other and uh, just talking about what's happened in the last 18 months, it, it's a lot. So uh, good morning and hello to those of you who are watching the replay. Um, it is 10 o'clock on uh, Thursday, December 20, December 2021. Whew. <laughs> so we have just a couple of things to talk about today. Um, if you are just joining us, let me know in the comments uh, where you're coming from today. And, uh, and maybe tell me your favorite holiday tradition. So uh, my name is Carrie Capone, and I'm coming from Maplewood, New Jersey. And let's see, my favorite holiday tradition, don't tell my mother, but I think it, it has become stocking stuffers. So it, I used to think, oh, mom, she would buy all this stuff that we don't need and stuff it into stockings, and we would open them up. And uh, I don't know, I just thought, what's the point? But now every year when we get out our stockings that, by the way, my grandmother crocheted, um, it, it, it's just fun. And so, and it, you could see the happiness on my mom's face when I bring all of the stocking stuffers home to, um, you know, to give to everybody. She's like, oh, you did it. So I think because it makes her so happy, I, uh, it's become my favorite tradition too. So I'm sure I'll force my own child to do it. Uh, <laughs> as the years go by. So, okay. Good morning, Jess. Um, so let's see. I want to talk to you about our subscription boxes because we have a brand new program, brand new opportunities for you to get beautiful curated knitting kits every month. So let's start with that. I've got my handy dandy banner. And Jess, if you have a minute, could you put the link in to our kits collection? So if you are interested in getting a beautiful knitting project and kit every month, um, you're just going to go to the spinninghand.com and we have a few different choices. Good morning, Anna Maria. How are you? Uh, I'm sorry that it took so long for the Christmas stocking to get to you, <laughs> uh, but knowing how fast you are, I'm sure you're, you're already, uh, you've already gotten a good start on it. And Mindy, hi, good morning. Mindy, I think this might be your first time joining us on a live. Uh, I saw that you had emailed yesterday and uh, I, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to tell you, but I, I'm you know, so happy that you're here. Um, so we have now, instead of doing quarterly kits, or I should say in addition to doing quarterly kits, which we did uh, all in 2021, so we've done four quarterly kits, now we are also offering the option of monthly kits. So uh, especially if you are a speed knitter, like I know Anna Maria, you are, <laughs> at least when it comes to stockings, um, you know, and you, we, we try to give you projects that, that can definitely be completed in a month, especially if you love to knit nonstop, like a lot of us do. Um, they also make great gifts. So if you have a few kits and you're like, you know what, um, this is something that I'm not going to finish, but I know that my girlfriend's birthday is coming up and, uh, you know, she would love it. It also makes a good gift. Um, we have especially this time of year, a ton of different gift subscriptions going out. So husbands are getting them for their wives. Uh, brothers and sisters are getting them for each other. Uh, friends, we've had a retirement gift and we've also had a like, thank you for being my bridesmaid gift. Here are knitting subscription boxes, which I think most of my wedding participation days are over. But if I'm ever in another wedding, I would love a knitting subscription box. I think that would be a great gift. 
<laughs> so best of all, um, we have options for you to get a free kit. And um, I think that promotion is ending on Monday night. Um, but if you go to the link, and thank you, Jess, for putting it in the comments, um, thespinninghand.com, check out our knitting club. You can get uh, six, if you pay for six kits over six months, then you get the first kit free. Um, or if you pay for 12 kits over the next year, you get the first one free, plus I think an extra $5 off. Um, so, and if you are not ready to commit to six months or 12 months, that's okay. Sorry, I need some water. I went for a long walk this morning and um, yeah, I just need some water. If you're not ready to commit to six months at a time or a year at a time, you can go month to month. And so every month, um, your card on file will be charged $50 and you can pause or cancel at any time. So that's a really nice flexible option if you're like, you know, I don't know if I, if I want to commit to many months at a time. Um, you can definitely go month to month. And um, by the way, that's also an option for our quarterly subscribers. So if you're ever like, you know what, I just have too many kits and I need a break, you can pause. It's it's kind of like joining a gym, <laughs> the knitting gym. So there's something there. We'll have to see. Um, so as far as what's in the kit, right? You get you get this gorgeous luxury yarn. Um, I'm always looking for yarn that is um, just like really gorgeous colors so that no matter what color you get, it really, you know, it, it's just so much fun to work with. Um, for those of you, and certainly those of you on the call are regulars and qualify, if you ever want to say to me, hey, you know what? I hate red or I really love neutrals, um, don't be shy. Definitely tell me um, because especially when we're just starting out, I can accommodate a lot of special requests. Um, you know, eventually as we get to like over 100 subscribers, it might be more difficult, but for now, I I really do put every kit together one at a time with you in mind. So don't be shy about telling me what you love and what you don't love. Um, and in addition to the yarn, um, if you get the deluxe version, then you you do get needles as well. But our our regular kit of the month club is does not include the needles. Um, you get a pattern that is designed by myself or by Jess. And to split up the work, we're doing like every other month. <laughs> so Jess is um, designing this beautiful hat for the boxes that are shipping in January. And I am designing, I think, I don't think it's gonna be a hat again. I think it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be like a headband or a cowl, that kind of thing, but a beautiful like two color color work piece for February that'll ship in February. And then in April, I can't remember what we're going to do, um, but I've got another handbag pattern on the needles. Um, and I also have, believe it or not, a vest uh, that can be made with just two skeins. So we, you know, we always try to make something that like you can finish in a month, but um, is also something really substantial. Like you don't always have to make something tiny. Um, so we've got the yarn, we've got the patterns, and then we have the goodies. Now this is where I really love to spoil you. Um, I just went shopping yesterday at the art supply store and bought some beautiful pens and um, notepads. And what else did I buy? Markers. And sometimes I'll get vinyl stickers or magnets. And of course I order online as well. Um, oh yeah, thank you, Anna Maria. Yeah, that, that hat that was green and white, that's the color work that I'm working on. And uh, I'm just like, I, I think what I can do is make it into like you can have an option like a choose your own adventure like oh i won't wear a hat but i'll wear a headband so then you you end the pattern at this point or 
Um, I love this pattern so much. I want to make it taller. And then you have a cowl. Um, I like that flexibility. But at some point, I have to make a decision and, and finish the pattern. <laughs> That's part of the problem is that it's so much fun to uh, go in these different directions. Um, so yeah, so I'm the luckiest girl in the world, uh, let me just say, because I get to go shopping for you and buy you stocking stuffers basically uh, every month. And um, and my, my favorite part actually is reaching out to the women who make these small items. So at the art supply store that I went to yesterday, it's owned by a wonderful woman named Micah. I think that she went to SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, and her tastes are just mwah, amazing. Uh, I also like to go on Etsy and quote, meet people online and say, I love what you're making. Can you make 50 of them <laughs> for our kids? And of course, you know, the, the, the women are delighted. Usually um, they say, yes, I'd love to work with you. Or they say, no, there's no way I can make that many and <laughs> go away. No one said that yet. So, um, so it's, it's fun. You know, I get to meet people from uh, all over the country. I have uh, one woman in Canada and, uh, you know, eventually we'll, we'll just keep growing. So um, it's a way to support other women. It's a way to uh, bring beauty and joy to your life. And, uh, and I love doing it. And I'm happy to say that we are um, up to, I think we're up to 84 subscribers now, which is beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, Jess and I were talking this week about the olden days, which I think was March uh, 2021, a hundred years ago. And we started out with just a few subscribers and we thought, Oh, you know, is this going to go anywhere? And it's really grown. And, uh, and I just want to thank you for that. Um, I like treasure all of your input and, you know, uh, and we have, we have come so far. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so thank you, uh, for those of you who are watching this, who have already joined, if you haven't, um, tried our subscription boxes yet, I would love for you to try one. Um, you can go to the spinning and, uh, and find our knitting club there. And the link is in the comments on Facebook and below the video on YouTube. If you're watching our replay, um, something else I was going to say. Yes, we had a giveaway. And so congratulations to Elle, who lives in Massachusetts. I think she's in Medford. Um, and she has won a three-month subscription. So uh, she was so excited because uh, she said she's never won a giveaway before. Well, now she has. And I haven't asked her yet, but I'm hoping she'll do an unboxing with me. That would be really fun. Um, so yeah, so to those of you who uh, entered the giveaway and uh, didn't win, we don't want you to go home empty handed, so to speak. So go ahead and visit our site, thespinninghand.com, and we are gonna give you the first kit for free if you sign up for six months at a time or a year at a time. So congratulations, Al. Okay, second thing and the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about today let me hide this and show this, is a brand new program that Jess has begun and it's called the Stitch Society. So um, I don't even remember Jess, was it this week or last week that we had our lace workshop? It was last Saturday, okay. So on Saturday, and she, she had a lace workshop uh, um, last week as well. It was so interesting to learn uh, to learn more about really like, I guess you could say the basics of lace, but just have it explained in such a clear way. Um, and then she designed this beautiful cowl pattern that I have started and it's coming along. It's very nice. And, um, you know, I can, I can speak from experience that her patterns are always thorough, very clear. And she always includes a little something to learn that, you know, maybe you've never done before. Um, I've also done a um, crochet online video with her and she taught us how to do the foundation chain. So if you are a crocheter 
and you've never done that, she just made it so easy. And now it's how I like to do all my foundation chains. Um, okay. So, so Jess has put the link in the comments. So if you are interested in joining the Stitch Society, you can go to doublethestitches.com forward slash membership. And she's mentioning that also she's just working on the workshops um, that were already recorded and putting them into a package where you can actually purchase that workshop. So if you've always wanted to know like how to read charts, um, what to do when you see different symbols, how to read a chart, which direction, and to get access to this gorgeous pattern, um, keep your eyes open. And certainly if you go to doublethestitches.com and you sign up for her email list, which I highly recommend, uh, then you'll get all the information about that as well. So I wanna talk about the Stitch Society for a minute. Um, the premise, and Jess, feel free to just clarify if I misspeak about any of this, but the premise of the Stitch Society is that friends don't let friends stitch alone. Now, I can attest to the fact that knitting with others has saved my life literally on more than one occasion. So when I first had my baby, who is almost 19 years old now, I was so lonely. I had crippling postpartum depression and I wanted to return my baby to the hospital. I was like, this is not working out. Please take him back. Um, <laughs> but I kept him. I'm happy to report uh, that worked out okay. Uh, <laughs> and um, I decided to start a knitting group at the local library. So once a week, I hauled my tired self over to the library and knitted with other women. And it was, it was, it really saved my sanity. Um, not to mention, we also had ice cream afterward. So not everybody um, has the energy, honestly, and I don't know where I got the energy to start a group or to, you know, go and like find other people. It's, everyone's tired, everyone's busy. You know, that's kind of how it can seem sometimes. Um, but really when you take the time and just like sit and knit with other people for an hour, it just makes all the difference in the world. And you always say like, I, I wish I had done this sooner. So Jess is giving you that opportunity from wherever you are in the world um, to meet uh, as a small private community once a month. These are not recorded. These are just times to relax, unwind, knit, stitch together, and, um, and just be together. You don't have to have your camera on if you're not feeling it. Um, you can just come as you are. And I don't want to embarrass you, Jess, but one thing that I really adore about you is that you are an introvert. I think I can say that, you know, uh, I think that's the truth. Um, and like, as an introvert, Jess is like so aware and sensitive of other people's feelings and making sure that they feel comfortable and safe. And it's, it's just really nice. Like, whereas what I, as an extrovert, have to worry about is like stomping all over other people's feelings. And I can be a lot. And I, I recognize that. Um, <laughs> so also, I think that's why we work well together is that we, you know, we definitely balance each other. Um, anyway, so I, I'm a huge fan of Jess's, if you can't tell. Um, so aside from, um, aside from, having that communion, you know, that community, introvert extraordinaire. Okay. <laughs> so we're owning it. This is not a secret, right? Um, and so aside from, you know, having that like girl time, having that time to be with each other, um, you also get a free pattern every month. And I've already sung the praises of Jess's patterns, um, but she has a beautiful library of patterns and uh and you get the pattern of your choice every month um and so that right there is at least a seven dollar value um and let me tell you she puts a ton of work into these patterns um you also get um priority pattern support 
So, you know, any questions that you have, you can, you know, you can reach out to her. You have access to Jess, which is a huge thing. And then you also will get um, access to Fiber Friends interviews and events. And I'm super honored that I'm going to be one of the Fiber Friends. So I will be, um, you know, on an online call and talking with Jess and talking about what it's like to run a subscription box business and, um, you know, answer any questions and that kind of thing. Um, so there's a, there's a lot, there is a lot packed into this. And Jess, I don't even know if you know this, but I used to have a group called Knitters Unwind and that was uh, a $37 a month group. And Jess has introductory pricing that is gonna make your jaw drop. It is such an incredible value. Um, so her pricing, and this is again, only good until Sunday at midnight, is $12 a month or $120 a year. So you can prepay and get uh, two months free, really. And, um, but that's, that price is only good until Sunday, the 19th at midnight, and then the prices will go up. Uh, so again, if you are interested, go to doublethestitches.com forward slash membership. And I think you will see that everything is like really beautiful, really carefully thought out. Um, Jess doesn't do anything halfway. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I can't wait to... Uh, see you on the call. And um, if you have any questions, you know, you can, um, you can email me, you can reach out to Jess um, via her website. And of course, um, I can get you connected with Jess too, if you have any questions. So um, I think that's about it for today. Anna Maria says, I'm headed to the library at four to teach a Fair Isle Christmas ornament class. I also do it for the girl time. Libraries are wonderful, can I just say? And it is so cool that you were teaching a Fair Isle Christmas ornament class. It's, uh, that sounds awesome. If it's a pattern that you're able to share, I would love to, I'd love to see what you do. And uh, I, I don't think I've ever made any Fair Isle Christmas ornaments. So yeah, that sounds wonderful. This year we made teeny weeny sweaters and I've made teeny weeny stockings before, which are cute. Um, but I wonder, Anna Maria, if it's like uh, in a, do you use like a glass ornament or is it flat? I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued. Let me just say I'm intrigued. So, all right. Thank you everyone for coming. Mindy, it was so great to quote, see you today. Um, and I, I think, let's see, next week is the 23rd. I think we're gonna take next week off uh, for the holidays. I'm gonna be driving up to Rochester to visit my mom and I'll be with my baby, my almost 19 year old baby. Um, totally knitted and stuffed for that ornament. Adorable, I can't wait to see. Please send pictures if you, if you think of it, if you have time. <laughs> um, Great. Yes. Yeah, so Merry Christmas to everyone. I am so incredibly grateful to you. You are blessings in my life. And um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to the next time we talk. It will be the 30th and we'll just be finishing out 2021 and getting ready for a beautiful, beautiful, healthy and happy and safe new year. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye.